Yo, what is up everybody? It's Eric from The Surf NJ. Hope everybody is enjoying their Labor Day weekend. I certainly am. It's Saturday, September 5th. We're down here on the beachfront of Barnegat Light here on Long Beach Island. We're gonna be doing some all-purpose fishing today. We're gonna be casting some metals for some speedsters. We're gonna be throwing our fluke rig, hopefully getting some flatties off the surf. And also, I broke out uh, old Bessie. And old Bessie likes to catch the big things. So let's see what happens. Breakfast is served. It's feeling good. So yeah, we got the big pole in the water. It's roughly about 6.40 in the morning here. Low tide was at 4 o'clock, high tide is at 10. We have a kind of a unique situation here where normally you see the current moving south to north but we have a pretty heavy northern wind so it's moving the opposite direction it's going to make fishing a little better uh, because that jetty over there as this entire body of water moves this way this can end up like a seaweed trap right here so there's times where we go out to this spot and it's unfishable just because of the weeds but with it blowing in the opposite direction the weeds are going to get caught up in the inlet Water should stay relatively clean today. We're throwing a 1.7 ounce gamame, one of my confidence lures. I know it'll work for uh, a lot of the speedsters out there. So we'll see if anybody's home. What's up, bro? You looking for something or? Chill, homie. What do you want? You want sand crabs? There you go, sand crab. What are you, my fishing buddy today? Oh, I get it. You're just distracting me so he can get to the bag. Everybody's got to hustle. Pain in the ass, seagulls. I thought we were cool, bro. I do see bait jumping right over there. We got bait jumping. It's always a good thing, first thing in the morning to see. Still got it. All right. Yep, he's on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No bueno. No bueno. Oh, that, did you see that rod bend? Had it in his mouth. Shit. We always had the most success on these back tail cuts. 
Like little chicken nuggets. Yeet! Nice cast. They all seem to be feeling the gumami here. So we're gonna switch it up. I just wanna catch a blue to get on the big pole, you know? What are we gonna throw? I beat the snot out of this thing, but it worked. There's one. There's one. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Tony, that, that finger trick works, I'm telling you. Come on, 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 come on. Get up here. Your name is Bait. Look at that. This is like candy. This is filet mignot. This is the big boys. Happy Gilmore style. Nice cast. So for those of you wondering about the rod and the reel, this is a Saparito Custom. Seven foot, one piece, ultra lightweight. Go birds. Uh, he, he, he customized this entire thing for me. Uh, it's got the microwave guides, allows for like real clean, real smooth casting, even in wind, one piece, perfect action. Uh, I'll, put the I'll put a link below on how you can acquire about getting your own. Highly recommend it, it's my go-to rod. The reel right here is a Pen Conflict 4000. Some people don't like this reel for salt water because it has this open design. I absolutely love this reel. It weighs 0, 0.0, it weighs nothing, absolutely nothing. So between this rod and this reel, I can cast all day, not get a sore back, not get a sore shoulder, uh, and just keep chugging along. It's super lightweight. It's my, it, th this is my go-to setup right here. short all right fluke skunk is officially off say hello to the folks at home Got him. 
gonna do with you? A little kingfish. Or as you guys down south call them whiting. I'll take it. I'll take it. Especially him. He's uh he's not bad. They're actually really good to eat. They're really good fish to eat. Switched over to chartreuse. I just had a feeling chartreuse was. I saw that guy catch a, a kingfish down there. And whenever there's kingfish around, for some reason chartreuse seems to be the ticket. A couple more of those kings, man. We got fish tacos tonight. I can't believe that big rod hasn't bent over yet. So right here, the GoPro battery died. It's charging up with an external battery, but I'm gonna play with a new toy of mine, and that's this Go Fish Cam, an underwater camera that allows you to see what's going on underneath the water. This is not my first time using it. It's actually my third. The first was on Island Beach State Park. It was just rolling around the surf. The second time was yesterday at uh, Sandy Hook, where this crab here was just kind of pissed off that I was invading his personal space, doing a little crab McGaw on the camera here. Watch this. Here it comes with the backhand. Wow! Nom 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 nom. This was my first cast today, and I thought it was going to be a better attempt at filming underneath the water, and it was because I put that green float, which kept the camera elevated. However, I didn't cast this very far, so I let it sit for about ten seconds and kind of rethought it and thought, you know what? Let me try that cast again. By the time I already reeled up, we're only talking 10 seconds and about 10 feet out, I already had a fish on. Caught a beach ball. Blowfish on the go fish cam. Kobe. This was the second cast with the go fish cam. I got it out there a little bit further. We're talking about 15 to 20 feet. Again, not casting a great distance, but you wait about 10 seconds and here he comes. Mr. Pufferfish is already on it. I know you can eat these things. It's not like the toxic, dangerous, deadly, sushi-grade pufferfish. People catch them and eat them all the time. I just have no idea to prepare them. But now that I know that they're out here and in this many numbers, I'm definitely going to look up a couple YouTube recipes and give it a shot. Third cast, hit bottom, they're already on it. I mean, it was literally that simple. I knew you could catch these fish in the back, in the bay. People do it all the time. I had no idea that they were this plentiful and out here on the beachfront. The great little bait stealers, empty hook right there, but even with this go fish cam, with an empty hook, it's just great to see the scenery as it goes by. There goes a puffer fish, and then like five kingfish right in a row. Just showing you how plentiful the kingfish are just right there in the wash. Again, we're only about 15 to 20 feet away from the surf and there's so much life literally right in front of you. I love this Go Fish Cam now that I figured out how to use it properly. Uh, it's going to be in my social media arsenal and I cannot wait to use it for striped bass season. Anytime I get to use a high-low rig with bait, uh, I'm certainly going to be breaking this out. It's going to remain in the back. <laughs> yeah. I actually found this one funny. There's so many of these things down there that somehow this numbnuts actually found a way to foul hook himself. And he's calling his buddy for help, like, yo, bro, help me out. He's like, nope. Right as I'm charging the GoPro, this guy's worth a measure. We're going to take a look at him. 16 inches. Hefty, though. Hefty. I think it's time to put the GoPro back on. We got the two rods. That's the one with the Go Fish Cam. Flip bite all of a sudden looks like it's on. Look at the parasites hanging on. It's kind of gross. So we're gonna put the GoPro back on because it looks like the flip bite um, as the tide's coming in. Just started up. Shit, 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 shit. 
What was that? Whoop, 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 whoop. I just heard it ringing. I just heard it ringing. Now it knows. Now it knows. Now it knows. There he is. It's definitely a ray. Definitely a ray. No head shakes. No big tail whips. Just a lot of weight. All right. Yeah, I got hit by one of those. Right through the hand. Is that you? Right. Is that him? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. Did you have to get any stitches or anything? No, they had. I had to go to Soch, and uh, I mean, they, they, we chopped the tail off. They had to take it out. Wow. But yeah, that was me. That was me. That was four years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I learned my lesson last time. All right, that's it. That's enough. It's a wrap. Finito. Time for me to go home. We had a pretty active Saturday today, didn't we? Didn't we? We uh, we got the bluefish. We got the uh, Atlantic kingfish, which you guys down south call whiting. Uh, we've got fluke, we got puffer fish, and we finished it off with a stingray. I was hoping to get something on old Bessie before I headed on home. After that morning run, man, you can tell though. You can tell when it's a stingray and it's a shark. The one in the morning, I'm convinced, was a shark, man. A lot of head shakes, quick movement. When it's a stingray, they nibble, 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 and then it's just kind of like a slow, low gear drag you know what i mean so i knew that was a stingray right off the bat and that's funny that a guy there you know he remembered me someday i will fill you in on the story of the great stingray mishap of 2016. someday i'll give you the gory details of all that but that's another video for another time so i appreciate you guys hanging out with me i hope you enjoy the rest of your labor day weekend and until next time tight lines and i will see you next week.